Hello, my captains, and welcome back from the weekend. Well, good news. Sunny and cool for nearly a third day in a row for the Capricorns. The moon is still in your sign, which means emotions and ego are working side by side for you. This is a great time to go do what you do best. Make decisions. Be the captain of the ship. Be a leader. Really make those important decisions. Don't be too surprised if a lot of problems come to your table and you have to be decisive today and tomorrow. I call that soul service. So a lot of people look up to you as an example and they look up to you as a decision maker. So you probably have to make some important decisions. But with the moon in your own sign, your emotions and your ego are working side by side. So you have the benefit of both, which is nice. You have the passion of your emotions behind your ego so you can be convincing. And you have as well the strength of your ego behind your emotions. So you don't look too soft. You look strong and you look captain-like. As in around the sun, not such the same story. This month Capricorns are working on trust and intimacy issues. And as of today, we're in chapter one of Sun and Leo. Now remember, Leo is the focus of our power. If you're just joining Soul Garden, welcome. This month Capricorns are focusing on their power, that's Leo, their celebrity, that's Leo. And for a Capricorn to step into their celebrity, they must have clear boundaries. And that's really what Capricorns do best. They're really excellent at boundaries. When a Capricorn says no, you know they mean no. But the question is, should you have said no? That's the question this month. Where do you say no? Where do you not say no? When do you open it up? When do you not open up? And most Capricorns I know are not opening it up enough. That's where I find. Capricorns have often shut down their inner child through lots of decisions, being conservative, worried about losing your captain title if you let things out, if you let your hair down. And most Capricorns I know have literally dimmed their light out of being conservative. But that's not the new age Capricorn. We're moving into Aquarius. So in chapter two, we're going to be working on experimenting with where things are fun. Here is the simplest dynamic I can tell you. If it's fun, say yes, as long as you're not in danger. That's it. If it's fun, say yes. When it's fun, when it's exciting, when it's romantic, when there's butterflies, that's the time where your soul is shining. If you are sacrificing, missing out on the party, not participating, why are you saying no? That's the question. So in chapter one, we looked at why you're not listening to yourself in the first place. In chapter two, we're going to look at why are you making certain decisions and what is the premise behind those decisions. So today we begin that journey and you might start experimenting with yourself in the given day. All right, Capricorn, that's all I have for Monday. I'll see you folks tomorrow with more. Live, love, be. So